think a, a big thing for them is going to be looking at just the the levels. Say you if you can find that second point in the battery soul. Give him the opportunity might be in trouble to here. Bottom lane. Crystal's trying to do whatever he can to hold them back for the moment. Force has got to decay in a couple of seconds, but only level one. Doesn't have the potential to provide the damage, but the soul will be necessary to find first blood. Again, we mentioned in the draft that Force has been playing a lot of the arms. He's afraid of. Crystal's He's got some one charges to play with. Continuing to stalk him into the tree line. Trying to blow him up with the telekinesis to prevent those one. Chrysalis holding him off to the last second. And Anisha's going to look to tippy town. Hey, you snipes Chrysalis. Oh, no way. Nisha will get some revenge, but oh, that's going to well feel juicy it. for the clockwork. Oh, they give him the tip of me while well, looking at you. He's just soaking up some experience. Oh, that's <laughs> when you know it's just not now. your day, man. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Dude, that's all right. Let's see. What can you do? Can't let these towers go down and secret. They're going to try and get towards AU. Hookshot's going to be off the mark. So resolution will claim the kill. Nisha's going to try and find an angle to step in. Xavier's still in the fish. It's going to help out. Meanwhile, off to the left side. Puppy's black hole. Wow. We stopped in his tracks, but secret find a double kill. Resolution getting both the kills. Some much needed gold given over to the Enchantress. For sure. See, they're going to try and sweep over towards their bottom jungle here on Secret. Plyos have some pretty good vision to play with the ward placed on the high ground. You've got to protect it, though. You can't let them just Look at the trio running in. Off the left side, they're going to be on to Poppy. Meanwhile, back towards the outpost as well as AU finds the hook shot. That's a big nice echo slam from Zayat. And Secret will find the double kill. They're going to be off the mark with the boat as well. So Resolution can get back to the safety of the tower. It is a two for two trade in the end. Some and they're able to get the actual reset of it. That's going to be enormous for them because it's, you just need to wait. You've got an enigma. You want to get this. Bottom uh, in trouble. Oh, this will not help. Natsumi in combination with Xavius. See if they're going to have enough damage for the moment. Zayats can just stop this with the fissure. He's got the Arcanum Shaft to work with. Nisha tries to turn it around. And in fact, that's enough to get the kill. Natsumi with the armlet toggles. Inside will end up the dying to the Firefly. Yeah team and i mean have a look at what the vision looks like for secret right now it's in a lot of pretty useless spots to be honest right like it you're not wanting to play on your side of the map if you're polaris right now you've got the ages you've got this early-ish timing lineup <laughs> idol on versus idol and more down bottom onto puppy as it's soon as more. two heroes show though they're gonna move top onto force the one on the higher ground does scout out Resolution, starting to pivot his attention to the Undying, but the rest have Secret under the cover of the smoke, so they don't have this information. Force, the Lotus Orb will not protect him, so a great movement out of Secret. This is all comes down to just Puppy making space down bottom as soon as they see those two supports. ...against this push that's happening without the Undying being there. Seems like they still feel like they need the farm. Morphling, of course, realizing that he needs that Aghanim Scepter against the uh, the Shadow Fiend to, in fact, isn't going for the magic damage build that we were thinking. Bottom probably. lane. Under the T2 tower, beautiful fissure on T2. Nisha steps in as well. Lasso drag back into the Echo Slam and the Black Hole for good measure. A secret are continuing to find some decent team fights are cutting this net worth lead. Uh, sorry, on the Aegis, and you've got 100 seconds left on the Black Hole, and Echo Slam's going to be available. So you might even be able to, if they give them the space to be a little bit greedy, have that Blink Dagger available for Zayats. Bottom lane, Natsumi. It's going to run into Zayats. Lelouch is nearby. They're close to the T1 tower as well, so the TPs are going to start to rain oh, on through. Exploded. As Natsumi just cleans them up. The cleave and the crits was all they would hope for to blow up Poppy, and Zayats is killed. Lane's pushed out. Let the creeps do the work. Right now, they're only committing Puppy for it, though. So, if you just giving them a lot of information in this invis, they see Nisha. Let's see if they're going to be able to blow him up. Oh, my lord. The right-click damage from the Shadow Fiend. Last up with the last second, but no, Lelouch. They'll find the kill. And now, Crystals, he can turn it back around, playing with the Earthshaker Replicate. Will give them some extra control. In fact, it was the Rubik instead. The Telekinesis used to hold... The support into play. Oh, yeah. They've got all their ultimates ready. They've got a very uh, good observe ward around the triangle as well. They don't have the morph yet for morphling though. Like they've got the Aghanim Scepter picked up, but they don't Resolution. actually have that arm. Maybe a little bit of a, a bait here. 
The Silver's Edge is in. AU's gonna hook shot forward as well. A beautiful target to oh, look yeah. to take out of the fight. But Zion's Salinz, yeah, Chris Slam, and they just rip apart Polaris. The damage is too much for them to handle. When the ultimate oh, can lead on, they don't have any answers. And Xavius will whiff on the stolen black hole. And Secret are back into the second game. Oh, man. It, it just takes a couple of little things, right? That's Chantress things. Beating down a tower. Not sure if that's the greatest glyph, though. They'd lose another fight. They could lose a ton of map control. Are you sure? Oh, no. They won't have the Batrider for this fight. Gotta be cautious, Secret, if they still want to take the skirmish. AU's gonna be in with the hook shot. I'll take care of the Enigma. Even drop the Tombstone as well from Force. But the rest of Secret, they've been able to back up. They're going to turn to try and deal with Resolution. And the X into the Wreck Room just evaporates the health pool. Secret, they're nearby. They've got the ward on the cliff. They're going to try and aim down the Shadow Fiend. They know the BKB was used prior. So Zayat jumps in with the Echo Slam. Chrysalis has the fall up as well. And Polaris, they've got to get out. You cannot continue to take the skirmish. A secret will move in and find a second kill. Sometimes you just got to do the simple things correct and... Oh, he's got the boys. They're in second rush. It's an important one. Secret get this ages. The ones in control of this game. I was going to try and play with the tombstone, but... Are you? Is going to lead in with the BKB? Are you attempts with the hook shot? But it will not be fast enough as the ages will be claimed. in our secret with the second okay. life. They might look to chase down the rest of Polaris, but in the end, a one for one. Did he get any components? It looks like the Aegis and Safe Force and the Shadow Fiend. So this is some, some intelligence. Allow Secret to do whatever they want. And they might look for Natsumi. Nisha with the bling straight on top of the Conker's location. AU with the counter initiation. But it doesn't buy enough space for the Conker. As Natsumi is falling the low, low for the arm of the Toggles. It's not enough. The Conker goes down. And now Secret. They've got firm control of the team fight. Tombstone lay it down. Thanks to the Morphling Replicate. The T2 tower will fall as well. A two fall. Well, so he could very easily look to go into it for himself. They're both scouting out Roshan, realizing that this is the next key objective. Nisha, smokes in a pot. And it is, and well, quick use of the napalm, giving him all the information they could need. But he doesn't have the lasso. That's so the call. Be a little careful. He's going to try and charge up the Requiem. Meanwhile, to the northern side, the AU, he's been picked off. Polaris is still going to continue with the team fight. They're trying to close the distance on Denisha. But the Batrider free pathing will be able to get out of harm's way. And now look at Resolution. Just pummeling the impetus onto Force, but it's going to be cautious. So it could lose. Zayat! But Zayat! In with the Echo, the Black Hole as well. A secret land, the ultimate for Xavius. The turnaround's there. Black Hole stolen, clipping on the multiple all dead. heroes, but they were lacking the damage. Damage. They didn't have the Shadow Fiend. The main damage component on Polaris was dead in the grave. Lelouch bore back, but it was too... Oh, that fissure. Such long range. <laughs> They're swapping around neutral items as well, just so that Zions could be in the ninja gear. Oh, that's a lot of damage. He's got to go in with the hook shot before the X. That Tsumi almost dies. He might still tick out. A BKB has to be used. Meanwhile, once again, Xavius is caught out. The fissure from Zayat, he's done it again. The position four from C could a big reason of why they're about to close out this second game. Oh, Azo has just completely changed the situation. Feels like the call for Polaris, it might just have to be give this up. 20 seconds without the Shadow Fiend, he needs some souls as well. AU's trying to charge up, and Nisha's going to get the jump before they start the damage. It's too much. Konk is gone. He's got a buyback, so Natsumi can rejoin, but AU, a third of his health just taken away with ease and resolution. We'll get force as well before he makes it away. Another tombstone being dropped, but it's just going to get dealt with pretty instantly. Force is going to jump in. Do whatever he can off the back of the buybacks, but secret. They're already retreating. Still got ages. Chrysalis in the mix at all. They've got the Requiem as well, but the extra fear control will deal with the first life. Resolution again. If they just look to avoid the Enchantress, the impetus damage is something that you need to fear. And Resolution and Secret will be able to take this game too. What a performance from them. Secret down 6,000 gold off the back of the laney phase. They find a way to come back in and end up tying the series one-to-one.
We talk about that fancy offlaner being the true carry. Resolution ended that game top of the net worth on his offlane Enchantress. I think it was 34,000 net worth that he had. What a ridiculous performance.